going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. In today's video, we're gonna be going over my September 2021 returns. As you can see from this screen above, we are red. Uh, so we're gonna be going in full transparency how much I lost in September of 2021 with my automated trading systems that I built and, and that I use with my own uh, personal capital. So let's go over the returns. This is from September 1st, 2021 to September 30th, 2021. Um, we can see in total, I lost $539. Uh, this is US dollars and this is after uh, everything said and done. Uh, so it was a red month, I lost money, my systems didn't do well, and I'll go into more detail about that um, as the video progresses. So uh, overall, we lost $539. You can see my short trades were in the green. If it's white, basically it's a profit. Um, so we did make a profit on the short trades, but obviously there was a lot more red in the long trades, and thus overall we were red. Um, you can see some of the other values, my, my gross profit and gross loss. Um, I did pay commission, so I know it does say zero here. Um, this platform that I'm using is NinjaTrader, and this executes my trades and connects to my brokerages. Um, so they allow me to kind of view a report card of my PNL. And with commission, they don't automatically detect your broker's commission. You have to set that manually, and I still have not set it, so uh, it's it's zero dollars. But I did pay commission. Um, we had a profit factor of zero point eight eight, um, a max drawdown of down over two thousand dollars, two thousand dollars and seventy eight cents, a sharp ratio of negative zero point three, uh, Sortino of negative one point two. Um, we had a win rate of fifty two percent. Average trade was four dollars in profit. Um, or sorry, $4.53 in loss. Our largest winning trade was $396 in profit, and our largest losing trade was $469.50. Okay. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot more trades per day here. I was trying some other systems and basically was trading too much. And I'm really, you know, toning down my trades. And all my systems are now on daily candles or on daily bars, meaning... Um, it can only execute a trade once per day. And now my minimum holding time is anywhere for three to seven days. Okay. So let's take a look at the PL. Uh, we can see that we started off the month great. And after around September 9th, 10th ish, uh, we saw a massive uh, drawdown and basically read the, the rest of the month. Okay. So obviously, you know, we can say that if we look at September, for the S&P, for example. Let's do September. Um, we'll do the last 30 days. Okay. So as you guys know, I have four trading systems right now. Um, two, one that trades long, has long exposure to the S&P 500 index and the NASDAQ index, and then I have an oil and gold trading system that uh, basically have exposure to both long and short. But as you can see, this is the September daily candles and overall is a red month, right? We saw quite a bit of, of red in the markets, um, which you know I kind of thought was gonna happen because last September, the same thing happened. If you look at 2020 September, uh, the markets were red as well. And uh, my long exposure was too high and you know I had to take some losses, right? And it, it makes sense. So um, my oil and gold trading systems I didn't launch until mid September. So I saw some benefits of those after, but obviously they weren't enough to cover from the losses. Okay. So I had way too much long exposure and it was a red month and you know, that's part of the process. So uh, let's head back to the analysis here. Uh, that was the cumulative net profit. We can do it by, uh, you know, by week, by day of the week. So Thursday was my best day. And the other days I was red. Uh, what else do we want to look at here? It's individual trades. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's pretty much it. So overall, I, I mean October I'm I'm pretty green. So that the next the October uh, video will be pretty solid and um, overcome this loss. I need to reduce my long exposure in the market. I think it's a bit too heavy. And even though I have the oil and gold trading system right now going, they are they are evening out the trades, but I, I was looking at 
you know, some of the crashes in the market and obviously the one in 2020, 2008 and the dot com crash and oil and gold seem to have dipped as well in the market. So I'm trying to think of other ideas to mitigate that. But I think my long exposure is just a bit too much, right? And what, what I mean by long exposure is that, you know, I'm long the S&P and NASDAQ with these two strategies and I'm exposed to being long. So if the market goes down, then that's going to be a loss. Now, gold and oil are uncorrelated and hopefully we'll offset that, but there's no guarantee. So what I'm looking to do is maybe I want to layer in a, uh, another strategy, maybe intraday that doesn't trade every day, but it can win on those really volatile markets on the way down or the way up kind of sort of like a black swan event uh, to mitigate that loss. Um, so I'm going to be drafting up some ideas for strategies and maybe I'll do another live stream of building that strategy. But yeah, this is the month guys. This is September, 2021 lost $539. It was a red month. And, uh, you can see it made a, a lot of trades, 119 trades, which I normally don't make. I was trying to get an equities in there and it just wasn't working out. So, um, too fast, too soon kind of thing and just the wrong move. So anyways, uh, cut that out. We're just going back to the four strategies now and, uh, October so far is, is really solid. So, uh, we're, we're back in the green and, and overall for the year we're up in the green as well. So anyways, this video guys, red month, you know, I'll live on, I'll survive. It is what it is, but can't win all of them, right? Can't win all of them. Um, I'd be happy with winning nine to 10 months of the year, you know, having two or three red months is fine. Um, but from this month, you know, keep it simple. Don't day trade a lot, you know, swing trades, swing trading systems, you know, you, you need your systems need time to, to take that profit. I, I don't know how to explain it, but there's so, there's so much noise intraday. It's just so tough. It's so tough to, to consistently make money with day trading unless you have so many systems, but there's so much noise in the market intraday. You just, you can't, it's just better to swing trade honestly. And, and it keeps it, the strategy simpler. And honestly, you're less stressed at the end of the day because there's less trades. So uh, lesson learned on that front. But um, that's September, guys. Red month. We'll see you next week with the next video. And let me know if you guys like these videos. Leave a comment below on how your September was, if you made money, if you lost money, or if you're just, you know, holding for the long term and investing uh, in, in the SPY index or a low cost mutual fund. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, that's much less stressful than this stuff. So anyways, leave a comment below and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys. Peace.